Today on Camera Crusades, we're checking out the iconic Shiprock Formation in New Mexico. We're going to decide if it's the west side, the east side, or right down the coxcomb is the best location for photographs. A short drive up the road, we arrive at our first location. Well, I've made it up here to the coxcomb or ridge line, and this is a perfect location for me to scout not only the west side valley, but the ridge line itself. Because tonight, with the sun setting in the west, we're going to attempt to capture some photos from not only in the valley and on this ridge line. Then, tomorrow morning, we'll photograph sunrise from the eastern side, and we'll compare all three and see what photos are the best for this location. So I'm at the first composition here. This is along the coxcomb itself, that center location. And I have the 14 millimeter lens on right now because I'm very, very close to ship rock, even though the video camera is showing a very wide view. Uh, it's probably a quarter mile away and it is massive. So the 14 millimeter is necessary to capture that entire scene, including this foreground element of the coxcomb kind of winding through the frame on the left side. On the right side, you'll see the shadow itself, kind of that real jaggedy, rockety area of the ridgeline itself. That shadow creates another leading line, bringing you into the frame to that iconic location. Now the sun is getting lower in the sky, probably another 30 minutes until sundown itself, but the shadows are looking really nice. The colors are looking nice and soft. So we're gonna go ahead and capture this photo now. My settings for this image, I have F11, ISO 100, and the shutter speed is being selected for me because of the aperture priority mode. In this case, it happens to be 1 20th of a second. Here's the image from the first location. Coming up, the west side, down in the valley. I'm now on the west side of Shiprock itself with the beautiful views seemingly similar on all angles at this point, but there are subtleties and there are differences in the light, obviously sunrise to sunset. So what we're looking at for this particular image is a panorama. I want to include this distant ridge line with those nice jagged peaks and Shiprock itself in a nice wide panorama, maybe a one by three ratio. And so for that, first thing I've done is I've leveled my tripod, super important for when you're doing a panoramic photo because you're gonna be shooting multiple images and then stitching those together later. So for this image, uh, I've kind of dialed it in. It's gonna be about 12 images from right side to the left side to capture what I wanna capture in this frame. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the sun to go down. The settings are going to change, but I will be consistent with most of my photos. F11, ISO 100, and the shutter speed is still yet to be determined because I actually am gonna wait till the sun gets quite low in the sky because I wanna see some of that, what I call desert glow. Uh, some people call it the earth shadow, but what it happens is on clear skies like tonight, you'll get a kind of dark blue and purple pastel color in the horizon. And that's what I'm waiting for with this image. So it could be 30 minutes, it could be an hour. Either way, I'm ready to take the photo when the time comes. It's getting dark and time for me to head off to bed. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more from Camera Crusades. I'll see you in the morning. It is chilly this morning, but we are set up here on the eastern side of the amazing ship rock back there. And 
hopefully you're seeing some of the subtle differences within this rock formation. On the eastern side here, you have these little rock formations just off to the right hand side. I think those kind of add to the composition, but ultimately we're going to compare all three of these side by side. So another 30 minutes or so before sunrise and we'll fire off another panorama here. Camera is dialed in, F11, ISO 100, shutter priority mode, and it has been leveled. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the light to be correct, and we'll fire off those shots. Next, we're gonna show you all three of those images so you can do a side-by-side -side comparison and see which angle of this location you like the best. Is it the east? Is it the west? Is it the center of that Cox comb? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Wow. All three of those images turned out fantastic. I honestly can't decide which one I like more because it really comes down to the conditions. If you have only the opportunity for sunrise, I highly recommend the eastern side. If you have a opportunity for sunset, definitely the western side of the park has better light. However, if you wanna have a unique photo, regardless of sunrise or sunset, I highly recommend checking out the Coxcomb area because it has a lot of unique foreground subjects and some great leading lines that could take your photographs to that next level. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you on that next adventure.